everyone, my name is Shannon and this is my channel, The Sewing Warehouse, where I talk to you about my dressmaking journey. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, today I have another Friday sets for you. Um, I said I would be more regular with it. Sorry, oh, the fabric's falling down. <laughs> um, I said I would be more regular again, um, so that is what I'm trying to do. Um, so, first things first, what have I been working on this week? Um, I have been working on the crossover jumpsuit by So Different Patterns um, and it's supposed to be finished, I mean I just need to hem the legs um, but the fit isn't right so for me the crotch is way too low um, so I'm going to have to unpick that um, and just take it up a bit. Now the other thing that has got me all confused is the bodice. Um, and I'll see if I can show you, but you see this is like the pocket and this is like completely unfinished. So I am confused. I followed the instructions, I reread them like at least three times after I finished because I was like how can this be the finished product so I'm thinking maybe it's the mistake was made and I was supposed to like attach it or something but it just I do not know I don't know it's so weird to just have like one this is one front of the bodice it's attached to the trousers and then the other one is loose and it's a shame because this is an overlooked edge they tell you to overlook this edge um which is fine but if i would have known that this was going to be the finished edge i would have found it rather than because it just looks so untidy to me i mean it will go on the inside right so if you wear it this goes on the inside so it's not like you can see it but yeah, it just leaves this bit unfinished. I just, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. And maybe I will just have to email the designer and be like, what, what is going on here? Did I misunderstand anything? Um, also, the other thing I wanted to do is understitch the facing. So skip that step and just makes it not roll over very nicely so I just want to understitch maybe even top stitch it down um, so it doesn't come out um, but yeah other than that I'm quite happy it's, it's a quite a nice look um, yeah as I said I need to um, unpick the trousers and just um, decrease the rise so the crotch isn't so low and I think maybe taking the sides a little bit so it becomes a bit more tailored um, but I'll have to think about it so yeah that was finished <laughs> I think on Sunday after we came back from the weekend away um, it's a shame I was a little bit disappointed with it because I was expecting it to be quite a sophisticated look um, and it turned out not to be that but I will persevere and I will unpick it because otherwise it will be such a waste of fabric and money and time if I don't get a wearable garment out of it um, so yeah I'm just going to try and fix up a little bit so the other thing I've been working on this week or started to work on is the Jessica blazer now on Monday evening I had a virtual sewing social um, and you can find them on Instagram, virtual sewing room I think they're called. Um, basically they organise once or twice a month these digital sewing sessions um, where people are just like sewing and chatting and basically just like your normal social but then online. Um, and it helps for me because obviously I'm travelling a lot. Uh, I not always able to go to in-person sewing socials so these digital ones um, 
were really good and I really enjoyed it um, and it was lovely to see some people there I think there were like 12 people which is quite a lot um, we just chatted about things we were making um, if people needed help they could ask and stuff so it was actually really really nice and I definitely will sign up for that again um, and during that session I was like okay I'm going to cut out my Jessica blazer but I first had to trace it and the session was two hours so it started even before the session started like a half an hour so two and a half hours and by the end of it I wasn't even finished with tracing all the the pattern pieces so many pattern pieces no joke um, so yeah I think there were about 35 pattern pieces at least that's the highest number I saw the 35 honestly oh my goodness um so yeah I have that means I haven't cut out the fabric yet um I think I showed you this last week not sure um but it's all washed ready to go I bought some lining as well um some bright red lining which I think would look cool um and it's this is a wool blend it smells very nice after being in the wash um so yeah i am leaving on a trip again today um it's a long one as well it's like 10 days so um i will not be able to cut this out until i come back um but if you have seen my other video this week you will know that i have a collaboration on this month with adele and bex um and we are sewing the Epic Spec School fabrics, fabric by Lady McElroy um, and the goal is to reveal that make at the end of the month as well so I think I might have to do that one first um, there is a poll on my channel to so you can vote on what you think I should make in it um, and I will put a link up to the video um, below where I sh share my inspiration with you so yeah, that's going to be a little bit on the back burner for now, um, especially after all the daunting talk everyone gave about how difficult this pattern is, I'll be like, okay, um, maybe I will not be as quick as I usually am. But I do love a challenge, so I am looking forward to it. Um, now, some other things that I haven't shared with you yet is I went on my honeymoon to Lombok. Um, and when we were there, obviously they stay <coughs> walk around in sarongs all the time there and they sell them as well. Um, so I have bought two of them. Um, and they have these lovely little geckos on them. Um, gecko are, geckos are the, the, a symbol of luck in Lombok. So lots of geckos everywhere. Um, but basically, yeah, this one and then in a blue colorway as well um, and they're sarongs but I thought it would be actually quite nice to make something out of it as a remembrance for the honeymoon um, obviously this will be a bit more of a summer project but I thought I would show you the fabrics because I like them um, and so they're quite big so I can probably make up anything I want with it um, but I was actually kind of thinking of like, at least with one of them, just kind of like draping it on the mannequin and see where it goes and maybe like a halter neck dress or top. Um, yeah, maybe I would need some more matching fabrics just to fill it up, fill up this skirt or something, but I thought that would be a nice idea. Um, so yeah, my plans for the coming week are um, that tomorrow I am off to Belgium with company um, and we have some free time in the afternoon and I was thinking of maybe visiting a fabric shop in Antwerp um, so if you know any fabric shops please let me know below in the comments and I will see if I can go and check them out <coughs> um, but yeah I 
Um, I'm looking for some more fabrics from my stash because what I have now is basically more summer fabrics. Um, I don't have a big stash to begin with um, and I could just be like, oh, so the stash, so of the stash, but it's all very summery and I do love the fabrics and I will sew them up, just I am really lacking some winter stuff. So I really need to go fabric shopping. <clears throat> Um, and Belgium would be a good place to start. Other than that, I don't think I'll be able to do much sewing, um, or any sewing actually at all over the next week because I'm not here. Um, yeah, I'm on a company trip uh, for 10 days. Um, so that means no sewing. Um, or maybe my husband can finally fi fix his trousers that he wants on the sewing machine. I've taught him how to use the sewing machine and now he uses it to fix his clothes. It's quite, it comes in quite handy. Um, so yeah, no sewing for me for the next, uh, next little while. So let me know what your plans are for the week ahead in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And for now, let's go so.